This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been almost two weeks since my last video because I was so busy with my commission crochet works. And then when I was done with one of my clients order, I took a break before diving into the next order by doing this paint by numbers project. Here is the kit I got a 16 by 20 inches canvas, three paint brushes, hooks for hanging, and the acrylic paints, but uh, the frame is not included. This is only 219 pesos or a little over 4 US dollars. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say it right away that this is tedious work. I've worked on this for almost four days straight. I didn't time my work but for sure at least 6 to 8 hours a day. So yeah, it's time consuming but I can also say rewarding. Every time I see progress in my work, I feel happy and excited to keep going. Well, I watched a couple of videos enumerating tips on how to best do this and I picked up a few useful ones like ironing your canvas first which I did. By the way, the one I got is like a canvas cloth texture on the back, but on the right side or the working surface, it's rubbery or like plastic, like tarpaulin. So I ironed on the wrong side because I was afraid I might burn it. So yeah. Another tip is taking pictures of the blank canvas first if there's no guide included. And that came in useful because when I'm painting on a particular spot and sometimes I accidentally paint over the number on the spot beside it because you know they're both too tiny, I have to check on the pictures I took to see what number it is. So yeah, that's a useful tip. But I'm not gonna mention all those uh, tips because it might sound like I came up with them. I'm just gonna put the links to those videos in my description box. Please check them out. Some of the spots and numbers were too small for me even with my eyeglasses on so I ended up using a magnifying glass. I'm not sure if it's the same with all the patterns of course but I just have to say that so you won't be surprised. Anyway, what I will do in this video is actually mention a few mistakes I did so that you may avoid them if you want to do paint by numbers as well. First, as the paint are in these cute little containers, I was a bit worried that I might run out of them and won't be able to finish painting all the spots, especially those colors that are really all over the picture. So silly me, I did not pack on the paint generously enough and some spots came out not really opaque and the canvas was still a bit visible and showing through the paint and it's pretty obvious with dark color especially. So the tip is to not do that. Make sure that the canvas is completely covered with paint unless you're going for a watercolor effect, I don't know. But yeah, I ended up doing some touch-ups because I wasn't happy with some parts and redoing my work was of course a waste of time. So yeah, anyway, don't worry. Each paint color is enough for the whole project. Next is do the background first and the details or outlines later. Like in this picture that I chose, there are buildings and walls of course and ornamental flowers outside. Well, I painted the flowers and the other details first. I was thinking I'll do the lighter colors later so they don't get dirty so I did just that. Downside is, when it's time to paint the walls, there were places where I painted over the flowers with the paint color for walls. So the end picture kind of looked unnatural, like the flowers are inside the walls. Well, <laughs> those things should be painted over the walls, right? Anyway, your decision of course, there are no rules here. But just to let you know, I did some touch-ups on those flowers, decorations, etc. to show the details some more. Same with the outlines on the cobblestone stairs. I did the outlines first. I don't know what I was thinking, so I had to redo them because most of them got painted over. Anyway, 
Those are the mistakes I've made which cost me precious time. This is my first paint by numbers anyway and I'm actually happy with it. It's hard work to be honest so you have to be committed and at least love doing artsy stuff I guess. This would be a great gift to people who like this kind of projects. And uh, one more thing, don't worry if the edges are not sharp. I mean the edges between each color. I don't think painting are meant to be like that anyway. I followed the lines of course, but if I got outside of the line, it's fine with me if they blended a little bit with the other colors. This one actually was supposed to be like this. But I kind of uh, blended the two colors to make a gradient effect or look as this is supposed to be the sea, so I changed it a little bit. Well, that's it for now. I hope to be able to make more videos soon. Thank you so much for watching. You really are greatly appreciated. I love you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell button. See you soon. Bye. Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you love it. Share if you care. Thank you for watching. Bye.